health is wealth. Like, it's not just a saying, it is real. So the payer complaining, the beneficiaries of the service complaining, the provider of the service complaining, even the industry itself, those who provide the platform, they are also complaining somewhat because perhaps really not quite sure of what to do. Some of the stats we can look at is that we have 200 million people. Uh, we don't have the specific data, but we still are sure that we have less than 10 million people insured, even if we include the NHIS. If we looked at the banked public, that's 50 million. So that means that we have an you know, unprotected gap in the country. Before AXA started in the health space, we have always been an insurance company and we always identify opportunities to be able to make impact on people's lives. So as we are making impact on people's lives, protecting them, their assets, doing group life, doing things that are very important to them, we saw a need for us to enter into the health space because we do not have viable industry that is really making the needed impact, just like we are known to make impact. And um, in the market then, it is all opaque. Customers are not really happy. Customers think insurance in the health space is just like another scam. Before you can change your hospital, it has to be quarterly. You tell me you have to wait for the next quarter before you can change your hospital. Providers of service, which is called hospitals, they really don't want to do HMO because they said it takes forever to pay. I remember then six months, their payments are still hanging. The HMO sector was very different, right? Um, many players in the market were using you know, what they call a capitation model, uh, which meant that they were paying a fixed amount to hospitals every month for everyone that was subscribed. Uh, some of the hospitals you know, treated clients like they were second-class citizens. And this wasn't right because the HMO creates so much value to the hospital and to the healthcare system, as well as there was a lack of understanding of the true value. Not a lot of the HMOs could create the sort of experience that was convincing enough corporate organizations to put an HMO plan as a you know, value proposition for their employees then. Uh, simply put, our partnership with Axam and uh, has been great. It has been really awesome. Uh, as partners, uh, I can comfortably say we've achieved a lot of desired healthcare outcomes. You know, together we have grown together over the years, and um, it's been nothing but mutual respect and responsiveness. Over time, it has always been for teachers, future, in case accident happens, in case fire happens, in case life happens. But then we now saw that people need to resonate on what can I enjoy now? What can my family be protected of now? Risk is not only the future. Risk happens every day, crystallizes every day. So we wanted to offer services of instant gratification, immediate benefits, something that you can identify with immediately and then the idea of health comes up and nobody fights with healthcare. We always knew that health was important. We were selling a particular health product in the early 2000s, but we could see that that wasn't sort of addressing all the needs. We weren't as engaged as we'd like to be. So we you know, set up a strategy and we said, look, what can we do differently? How can we really impact people and healthcare? So this brought about the need to go into the HMO licensing business. Insurance can sell health, by the way, but the HMO business requires a different skill set. So the mission for us was to uh, to, be the, to become the preferred provider of excellent healthcare services to all Nigerians. For us, it was to ensure the entire value chain of healthcare provision is touched from the demand side to the supply side. We want to act for human progress by protecting what matters. The practice of the industry then is to send a, a, a list to the hospital so that it can be confirming eligibility we had to scrap the lease because we had to put everybody to an online platform. It was a resistance for a period of time. I said, no, you cannot change the old traditions. And we've got to change it. We change it 
We change it in the motor business. We change it in the life business. We change it in the previous business. We will change it again. We are changing according to customers' needs. We are changing according to what the people need. They will say, how can you pay provider so quickly? We say, no, we're going to pay provider. They are the most important in the value chain after the customer. We have always dimensioned our business to say, customer first, provider next, we are the last. So therefore, as we serve the customer's interest, providers want to be protected. No clinical governance our quality can happen in an exceptional manner except to prioritize provider. So it was a good selling point for Axel side, coming in telling me I can assess K wherever I am. One other thing that is quite uh, impressive to us is their approval process. Without um, overstating it, it would be a good one. Um, a lot of issues have been removed to make life easier for us and that of the patient. The patients spend less time in our facilities because they have removed um, a lot of restrictions. So capital is the payment process or payment time. I must I give to them that um, they pay promptly. Our marketing is not based on our billboard. Our marketing, our advertisement is not the power of what we say, it's in the power of what we do and the referral we get from customers and the providers. We became the first health insurance company to cross the 10 billion mark by year five. But much more than that, the two most memorable moments I remember I have is one day I walked into an office and a security man recognized me and greeted me. And I greeted back. And the man said, excuse me, sir. Since we were moved to your company, AXA, man said, they treat us well now in the hospital. Thank you. I felt good. This is not talking about the CEO of the largest multinational. This is not talking about the richest person. This is not talking about just a common man who experienced great service because they are under the cover of AXA. The second memorable, I received a call. It was from a driver who was sick. The call came through, I think a mail or something from my colleague, and they started praying. What are they praying for? They said they've never seen such a treatment. I was sick at home and AXA got an online doctor to do telehealth to diagnose, and they deliver drugs to my house. I'm treated as a king. So that's what we do. It is going to be normal for us, no discrimination. I will never forget these two moments because for me, impact is more significant than numbers. You know, being the biggest in, in the entire sub-Saharan Africa, excluding South Africa, being the biggest in Nigeria by far, being the biggest in West Africa by far. Those are secondary moments of uh, excitement for us. But for me, those greater moments are the moments where people testify, you saved my life. And I hear this from time to time and it gives me joy. Country wealth is very important for us and our people are the most important thing. So when I first of all look at society, we want to be able to impact society by helping even the overall value chain, the hospital providers. It's very important when organizations, employees are healthy, means they can do the right things, right? And when people who are self-employed, SMEs, uh, everyone across board can at least know that health is important. They can find the right kind of institution to serve them, depending on their financial capacity. We want to be able to open that up, partnering with the government to see what we can do to bring our skill set. The data we, we have, and using this to create better value proposition, people that are excluded, you know, people uh, of an older age bracket, you have certain sort of health peculiarities. How can we help them? And I think most importantly, our employees as well, We're very particular in AXA, you know, physical well-being, mental well-being. We want to make sure that in the next 10 years, you know, we've evolved even further. We've leveraged the new technologies. We've helped and invested in the country so much that healthcare is now a given for everyone, partnering with the states as well as federal government. So, so this, these are areas that we're still very driven about. And it will always be about you know, our purpose, which is you know, just acting for human progress and making sure that we are protecting what matters. The future of Axel Mansard Health becoming um, an integrated service provider in healthcare, offering hand-to-hand -hand, um, service both at preventive 
as well as curative. Um, it means that every area of the value chain of healthcare service delivery will provide support, will provide protection, will provide direction and innovative solutions so that the experience of the customer will be uniquely as identifiable with them because we're going to be doing a lot of artificial intelligence linked solutions and it's going to be effective also making it easy to have good access to healthcare, supporting actively the, the goal of the regulator and of the government to achieve universal health coverage at the shortest possible time. We will be actually engaging more in bringing out solutions that address all segments of the market and they are able to have access to quality healthcare, affordable and yet uh, high quality. So as an insurer, you must remember that as we go into the future, it's not just about paying claims. So it's also about being there for our clients. And you will hear a lot around our theme, Wellvolution. Wellvolution is about just evolving everything about healthcare, being there for you on your journey, thinking about your wellness, preventive care, and managing the whole touch points everywhere you can imagine that you need your health to be at the very best level. So, Wellvolution it is, and join us on this amazing journey. Give me more wellness for less. Now I every day I'm at my best, oh. No single stress, oh, yeah. Mama, papa, brother, sister, eh. Aksa, masa, bidi, answer. To our customers, we want to say thank you. And Aksa, masa, help will remain a great partner that you can trust with all that are valuable to you. Some people didn't even believe that it was better to have, you know, a health insurance plan. They always thought, let's just keep the money, let's just do, you know, travel and do those sort of things. For those who have now committed their funds in our hands and trust us, thank you. Uh, to our providers, we want to say a big thank you for standing with us to provide the quality care over the years. We have some amazing provider partners who have really helped us to learn and we can assure them that we will keep you know, changing and improving. We want to help them achieve their own ambitions. It's not about just asking making money. It's about, you know, everyone is symbiotic and I want them to know that this is very important. For our clients, thank you. We want to keep improving things. Uh, we hope to, you know, leverage on improved technology so that we can help them optimize costs and pass some of the value back to them. We know it's not easy financially for everyone in the country. And of course, to our employees, oh my goodness, we couldn't have done this without you. Thank you as well. I'd like to thank everyone. Our employees make that difference. And it's really all about the customers for them. And sometimes they go over and above just to ensure that we can meet the customer needs. So I'll just take this opportunity, 10 years, thank you. In the next 10 years, it's going to be even better, greater, more impactful. And you have to be with us. No one else can really, really keep driving themselves to create the change, the impact, and of course, we want them to be wealthy, which means they need to have great health. And trust AXA for this. We are definitely the right person, partner to be with. And we are going to work together to be able to serve the customer even much more towards a healthy nation, healthy customers, healthy providers, and soaring and healthy AXA.